I don't believe it. It's finally here. After all this time, all these delays, finally, I've been so looking forward to this. It's Midnight Sun. So I'm going to get to play oh. as the as Wolverine no, and go no. and defeat all these. What? No, no. It's um. This is what, this is what? a Midnight Suns. Uh, this is what do, you mean, what do you mean it's not Midnight Suns? It's a superhero XCOM game. It is, but it's not Midnight Suns. Uh, this this is Capes. Uh, it's it's a pre-release demo that we've got uh-huh. access to, which is uh, for... Yeah, it is a superhero tactics game. It's very Midnight Suns-esque, but it's not going to be any Marvel characters or anyone you've ever heard of. So I don't think these are actually based on anything. No. I think no. these are all original. No, so yeah, this is the <laughs> first game out of a, a new studio called, I think, Spitfire Interactive. They're a new studio at, based in Australia. This is their first game. It's coming out next year, but it's currently available as a demo on Steam, and I thought we'd give it a look. Yeah, I'm very since, excited about this. I mean, that sense it's being delayed again. So, looks like we're, we've are we been sent here by Discount Professor X. And this is very X-Men, actually, isn't it? This I'm, is like the old X-Men, X-Men cartoon where, you know, superheroes are kind of, like, hunted by the government, almost. Or that new, like, new X-Men TV show they did on... Um, oh, the, the Gifted. The Gifted, yeah, right. Yeah, where they were living in, like... You know, they, was, there was a kind of a mutant underground to help, right. help um, mutants escape persecution from the government. It's, it seems very much like that. There's a kind of uh, superhero control enforcement official state police kind of uh, group. And we're the the members of Xavier's Academy for the Gifted <laughs> or something. And we're here to save, uh, save the, the, the superhumans. Move. Use move points to get in range of enemies and protect your team. Use action points to perform actions such as attack or disarm enemies with weapons. Use crystallize to protect facet from enemy damage. I think this must be one of our characters, mm. facet. Okay. Position your hero close to allies to team up and gain access to more powerful actions. Okay, so you can kind of like combine powers. Mm. I wonder if they're all too range. But... Charge your hero and unleash their unique ultimate power. Highlight a hero to see how they build their ultimate charge. Okay. Weapons. Enemies can pick up and carry weapons that cause extra damage or other combat effects. It's often best to disarm these enemies before they can be used against the team. So enemies can pick up weapons, but, but we can't, I don't think, it looks like. Heroes has each hero has a dedicated disarm action which can be used to disarm a weapon to prevent a powerful attack. Additionally, some actions cause disarm, such as rebounds, teleport, spin. Try disarming the enemies during combat. Move along a path to an available space. Okay, so that looks like it's our tutorial. Um, can we? Oh, oh! We can see the thing which allows them to charge. Yes, that's hit, what it said. To it's do. on facet charge. His ultimate. Facet is a defender who can grow crystal shards to protect himself and allies from ranged enemy. Uh, sorry, protect himself and allies from enemy attacks. Hit charge. Plus one per hit. Hits on facet charge facet's ultimate. Opportunist automatically attacks enemies who perform actions in front or adjacent to them. Okay, so he's got a kind of melee range reaction thing. Can we see what... um, Rebound. Rebound is a striker who uses her mobility to get an advantage in a fight. She inflicts additional damage when attacking enemies in the back. Uh, Attacking enemies from behind charges Rebound's ultimate. Okay, well I was... What does this count as their back, I guess? I was going to run Facet here, but I guess I could run him here. Shall we see what his actions do and see if there, there might be some like posi- specific advantages to mm. positioning him? I don't know how I would do that. Um. Ah, okay. Shoulder buttons. Crystallize. Gain damage reduction. Reduces movement. Cannot be knocked back. 
Uh, shard strike damage and knock back all enemies in range. Disarm, disarm a distant enemy. Block a cell, growth, block a cell or prevent an enemy from moving in their next turn. Prevents opportunity attacks. Uh, teleport, rebound. Rebound allows relocation. This is from being close to rebound, mm -hmm. I guess. Rebound allows relocation to a new location range, ignores obstacles and elevations. So, is it right we've got five tiles we can move to and then we can do two actions in a turn? Is that the idea? I we guess. can do five different movements? I don't know. It's not showing me a, an edge to where I can move to, so maybe I have to. Okay, okay. there we are. Yes, so it's got five tiles of movement, and then maybe we can do two different actions. So I think we want to do some disarming, I guess. Yeah, he does. Ha his attack it hits in a range of two, and it hits everything in that range. So he would, in theory, hit two enemies if he was stood like on the end. Well, he he's there so that when they move, he can catch them as well. So. Okay. Um, and it it did just tell us disarm these enemies essentially. I mean, so yeah. I'm going to do that first. So this takes one action point. Um, then we can either attack him again with something else, or we can do crystallize since he's kind of stood in the open. I don't know. Did you so one of the things the developers said about this game, I, I read, is that I can't remember exactly what, what what they said, but they basically said that, that, that like it's not a kind of cover-based shooter thing. You're not okay. meant to get in cover and, and shoot at things. You're meant to be kind of getting out there and getting in their faces. That's so. good to know. Um, Damage knock back all enemies in range. Well, they, that knockback won't work because I guess because there's a big truck in the way. Uh, you can do crystallize. You can do growth. Prevent an enemy from moving on the next turn. That might be cool. He puts that on this guy, and then it's essentially one guy we don't have to deal with yet. Should we do that? Um, yeah, I think if you put it on number four, though, he'd still be able to attack faster. He just couldn't move from where he is. Well, it prevents opportunity attack. Well, maybe we put it on someone else. You can't quite reach those ones. No. Put it on this guy. But um, I want. I think Rebound wants to run up and attack, attack this person from behind next turn, so maybe that's not worth it using. Um, I kind of just want to put Crystallize on. Okay. And just hope he can see if he can soak up some attacks. Okay. Oh, he, oh, he can still move, possibly, on his turn, because he's still got two movement left. So he could run back, I guess. Maybe that makes sense. Just run him out of the way. Oh, now he's facing the wrong way. I didn't get an option to turn out and move how he faced. Never mind. Oh, so she teleports, ignoring obstacles. That's interesting. Oh, and can we see what her attacks are? She strikes, range attacked, the down to a single target. She can strike with facet, range attack, damage to single target. Facet increases the damage of strike by plus five. Teleport spin, moot to a position in range and damage all adjacent units. Causes disarm, causes damage from behind, bonus damage. Shadow Blast, disarm all enemies in range. Range three. Ah. That, that seems powerful. So she could, if, if she if she had gotten here, she could have disarmed them both in one go. Mm -hmm. um, she could maybe get up here and disarm both of these guys. Maybe. So her teleport ignores obstacles. So she can, oh, she can go, she can't get close. Well, she could... Uh, yeah, no. I was just thinking whether her teleport would take her, her... The teleport attack would take her there and take her back, I assume, rather than take her there and leave her in next to the enemy. Her teleport attack is within... It's where she can teleport to. Yeah. She jumps in and then does damage. Right. Oh, you were thinking she could jump there and then run, then teleport again. I, I don't know. Um, sure. It doesn't say go back afterwards, but... Maybe we can find that out in a bit. Um, I think she maybe wants to do a ranged attack and then another sort of disarming attack or something. Um, uh, so 
we may as well use this facet boosted damage one, haven't we? Yeah, well, we can use that on this guy. We actually could do it twice and take this guy out. Unfortunately, we can't do it on this guy because it's, like, yeah. it's based on where facet's range position is. If we had left facet there, we could have done it. Oh, no, I think we can. I think we just could. we're in range of facet, so oh. we can do it. Okay, yeah. Let's do it on this guy then. Um, I don't know what three and four means. I think that's the initial Turn order. order? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's do it on this guy then. Oh, that was quite a cool animation. Mm. And it does bring her back. Um, well, that was a different thing. Oh, okay. That sorry. was a different move. Th this is the one that... Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, but that's now used... She can't now do her strike. They all count as one move, even if it's a team-up version. I guess. She okay. could. She could do this. Um, and but just get, 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 get him for one. We can do this and see what happens if she moves back automatically or not. Yeah. I expect she does... She doesn't. Okay, so that one doesn't, the other one does. Good to know. The, the, the strike is just an attack. It's yeah. just a ranged attack, although the animation shows her going um. up and doing it. The teleport spin moves her, she attacks, but and then she could do her move. Mm. So um, that's something to bear in mind for the future. She could... We, we could have gotten her over here to disarm both of these guys, possibly. Yeah. By doing it that way around. But that's fine. Uh, we want to maybe move her... I guess we. I guess we want her to be close to this guy. Yeah, and further away from but the enemies than he is. Does she want to be in cover? Just put her around here, or just on the other side of this car? I mean, she ignores obstacles, right? So I guess she could, yeah, go on the other side of the car and then reappear back. I mean, possibly be in range of these guys. Ideally, we want them to target him because he's got the health boost, right? Mm. Um, just put him, put her behind here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Unspent action points are converted to ultimate charge. Ah, okay. Unspent move points are lost. That's mm. interesting, because you could choose not to attack in a turn and use that to charge your ultimate. Yeah, that's very curious. So that, th this should start charging his ultimate, shouldn't it? Okay, they didn't do okay. very much. He, he does fifty. He takes fifty percent less damage when he's. No, I mean they didn't do much on their turn. Oh, I see. They had a whole okay. turn. They didn't do anything. Yeah. Um. So, run up to this guy and disarm him, possibly. Yeah, and then maybe poke him back. Do you reckon you can disarm side on? I guess we can find out. Like, like diagonally. I mean, I guess we can find out. Mm. I don't think we will be able to. Oh, this is like turned on and off. So when you, if, oh, I see, this is reducing his movement, so we can decrystallize to speed him up. Oh, I see, okay. Um, yeah. No, okay, that doesn't count as adjacent. That's that's fine. We'll just. Um, adjacent means adjacent in this rather than orthogonal. <laughs> no, it means orthogonal. Does it mean orthogonal? I thought it. Orthogonal, I thought it was the other way around. Orthogonal is the American expression for perpendicular. Okay. Not di as opposed to diagonal. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, orthogonal, not diagonal. Yeah. Sorry. Had it backwards in my head. Um, disarm. Give me that. I quite like this disarming mechanic. This is like how superheroes were in kind of cartoons and stuff. Mm. I remember when I was little. It was less about firing lots of missiles and energy blasts and things. People More about, you know, they would just dis disarm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the guns, and then, then we, then the other one comes in with her knives. <laughs> um, so we can, we can either let him charge his ultimate a bit more. I don't know if we can see how charged it is. I think it's the somewhere. blue one. I think it's the blue blue marker. That doesn't help me. What blue um, marker? Underneath, underneath his, his health. health. So I guess if we leave, if we don't do an action, it will charge his ultimate a bit more. Um, or we can we can knock this guy back. We could 
stop someone. I mean, we could maybe grow the guy on the other side because he appears to have some kind of bat. We could what? We, we could grow the guy on the other side. Yeah, because then he then he doesn't approach for another time, which gives us time to finish him off. I don't think oh, we no, can, we can't. Can okay. We? No, he, he he so all of Facet's things are melee, I think, aren't they? Well, so growth, growth, up... growth isn't. Or maybe growth. Oh yes, I guess not. It's just I didn't know. Is this a line of sight out. thing? Maybe because he's in cover, he can't maybe. see. Maybe. Anyway, we want these guys to come up and attack him, so he gets the ultimate yeah. charge. Okay. Really? So I don't think we want to use growth. So let's. I think we may let's well... put some damage down on them. I guess. Yeah. This um knocks this guy back. It does. But like um, rebounds backstab is like two damage, I think. She she can't get up, quite get up there, unfortunately. She can teleport and then use her attack, which is ranged. Yeah, but uh, it's a bit of a shame. I guess this guy's got a baseball bat, hasn't he, or crowbar or something, a tire iron. No, I think it's I think it's a, it's a melee a weapon. Anyway. Stick. It's a melee weapon. So. Yeah. Oh oh. We can't see who the. Uh, the guy in the building is. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm spinning the camera around really distractingly. Uh, let's put her... Do you want to put her over here? Does it matter? She gets points from doing backstabs. Yeah. So maybe we put her over here and have her double backstab this guy. Okay. Yeah. Um... So she can strike. That's only do one damage because he's now out of range of facet. No, do two because the backstab is a plus one. Oh, backstab bonus plus one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. So she could just she could strike this guy. And then she then she can spin. either she could teleport spin from behind and kill him and get the damage to her, the the charge to her ultimate as well, or go here and then it's in cover. And it's slightly closer to where the action I is. I don't think the cover matters. But it's slightly closer to where the action is. It is, but if we want, we want to see and what the ultimate is. And it's closer to facet do. as well. Like it's within range of facet if she goes there on his next turn. I'm just gonna put him there. Okay. There, I think that's better. She's already got one for. She own. just destroyed the cover. Well, they say it's not. <laughs> it's just some dust spins. But it um, it puts her in range of facet. You see. So what was his his thing with her? Rebound allows relocation to a new location in range. Ignores obstacles and elevation. So she can teleport him. I think she should. I think she should teleport him so he can disarm the other guy. Yeah. Because rebound on her turn can take out this one for free. So let's... Well, what would his move be? His move is only three, right? So where while, he's Chris, while he's Chris. Oh, he wouldn't get him up to him at all. No. Yes, yeah, so I think that's a really good use of an action. We do that. He pops over here. Or something. And then he... Disarms him or... Or, or like Disarms. growths him? Disarm, I think. Because even with growth, he can still attack. I mean, I guess we could move him away, I suppose, afterwards. Yeah, I think we, that, that's... We want to disarm at one point, at some point anyway, won't we? Yeah. And this way, if he attack, if we leave him here and he attacks, he gets a point to his ultimate, right? Yeah. So let's um, let's leave him there and be a tempting target. And then we just do, I guess, uh, uh, do the teleport spin. I think. Oh, here. Take well, both. no, no, but you could do this helpful spin behind him, get the backstab bonus, it does two damage and takes that one out, then you've got another, then you've got the ranged attack to do damage to the other one. Or we could do the teleport to him, spin here and do damage to both, but he doesn't get the backstab bonus. Yeah. But we could, we could teleport here normally, attack him with the combo with facet, and then teleport spin behind this guy and get the... I, I mean, sure... Well, actually, no, that's not worth it, because it does 2.5 if she gets the damage on with the facet attack. So he's only got two health, so it's n less optimal. What do you mean? Because you could do two damage here, kill him for two, and then you get 2.5 on the other guy, which otherwise you would do, you'd waste a 0.5 using facet's attack 
on this guy. So, you only so have to I'm suggesting we teleport here normally, mm -hmm. then we use strike, or, or we use this strike, which yeah. will do two and a half, mm -hmm. and we'll kill this guy, waste half a damage. Then my other action teleports Ben here, which will do two to this guy. Yeah. I, what I, are you proposing we do? I'm proposing we teleport spin to kill this guy for the two. Yeah. And then we use the facet attack on the other one for two and a half. It won't do two and a half. It, it will. will do, no. I because we are... Because you get... it, Because it does a, one extra here because of a backstab bonus. So it, they won't get it doing on this guy. It'll only do one and a half to this guy. And that's just, that's just assuming we then... Mo we then we mo we teleport her normally behind her and then do it. Well, there are two reasons for this. I, I want to a test if we can backstab just because she's in range of the square behind him and see if that would actually be allow in her in range to of the square behind him. Because her her attack, her attack being a ranged one. No, you can to... see where she has to go into one of the purple bits to backstab. I him. I know, but I think you could be, you should be able to select. I don't know. For, look for... look to to do it your way. This will do one and a half damage to, to this agent, or we have to move her behind him and then get the other damage, which we can do with the extra move. But if we're doing that, I feel we should have done growth on this guy so he was stuck, because otherwise he's going to be able to attack her instead of attacking this guy. Because I would, I guess, I guess more, more ideally, we'd want to run her away so he has to attack this guy. Not that it really matters if there's only two of them left. Uh, but I'm overruling you because I think uh, what you're saying to do is rubbish. Okay, I think it works differently to how we think it works. What are you talking about? <laughs> it looks exactly like I've just described. Oh, she now can't run away. Oh, she, she could use the teleport spin to run away. I don't think there's a flanking bonus, is there's only a backstab bonus. And only rebound gets the backstab bonus, I think. Oh, did he get a... He got an opportunity attack. Opportunity attack, because I moved while being stood next to him. Um, ah, well, charge is ultimate, I guess. Did it, though. Which is the one that pushes... This one. I th because I thought, oh, we'll push him back. If I had I done that first, I wouldn't have gotten the d extra damage. But then I thought, push him slightly closer to, to her for her turn. But um, that was a stupid thing to suggest. We could leave the charge or we can go for... I mean, he, he died. I think we leave it because rebound should be able to kill him next turn. So? So, if he doesn't use his action, it goes into his ultimate charge. Yeah, but I don't know if it's kept between missions. Okay, so... If she goes here, will he be able to get a, an, action, an attack on her? Only if she moves out of his range, I think. Well, let's find out. Well, that's good. She's now in range of Facet. Uh, she can disarm him. No value. <laughs> can she do this and stay in the same place? Don't see why not. Looks like she's now, yeah. Ooh, okay. That was tidy. It was. Okay, so this guy's name is Ar Arthur Atharv or something? I think we, we're going to be calling him Mindfire. Oh, okay. 
Mindfire is an attacker who uses the power of his mind to make enemies vulnerable to his ranged telekinesis attacks. Mindfire is most effective against enemies with high health. Use Mindfire's vulnerable ability to weaken an enemy. Target sustains more damage when attacked. Attacks on vulnerable targets increase Mindfire's charge. Increases his charge. I guess his ultimate charge. Charge, maybe. Do we have like a shared team ultimate? I don't thing? think so. The the little image and the ultimate's been different for each one. But like the charging bar, because it mind fires is almost full. Is this not just like a shared team one? Maybe. I think it's I maybe. I think it's maybe a shared team ultimate, and then whoever triggers it, it gets. It does I their thing. I thought when we had the other two charging, it was charging well, separately. Well, let's but... find out. Oh, we have to use it now. We have to use Vulnerable, it looks like. Okay. It's tutorial. We can see what his other things are. His Telekinesis just damages the target in range. Um, Facet can boost its, its damage. You can disarm a target and, and it moves the weapon close to him, so I guess that stops them picking things up. Um, rebound can teleport him. So it looks like the sorts of combinations they have are fairly standard. Mm. Um, then he goes move around. Does high damage at single time. Okay. Vulnerable. Okay. Oh, it wants us to do this one. I want to do that. Uh, the, the icons above it maybe suggest that it could be barraged, because that's the symbol it's using for the ultimate barrage. Yeah. Any hero who attacks a vulnerable enemy will inflict additional damage and charge Mindfire's mind barrage ultimate. Maybe this one, maybe Mindfire's just started almost ready for the tutorial. Maybe. Use Mindfire's telekinesis action to defeat the enemy and charge his ultimate. Okay. Ooh. That was fun. That was fun. Using the in environment. Uh, Mindfire's barrage ultimate causes extreme damage to a single target. Use Mindfire's Barrage, 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 barrage ultimate to defeat the enemy. Okay. So I think we are past it at the minute. Um, hmm. So it's said to use mind fire against the um, high health enemies, which would be this guy over here. Um, let's see. So he's still crystalline, so he still can't get up near them. Um, unless he uses... Oh, he's not quite close enough. But we, we can split movement, I think. So he could... Do one step forward. Yeah, teleport. I think you'd have to. Then what? Like um, up here, disarm. Yeah. Um. Or, or growth. Growth is gone. I think probably disarm. Do we want to disarm the guys with guns? Well, actually, he's right next to him this time, so do we disarm this gun? I think that was probably wrong, actually, because she's going to be able to come up and disarm him, but maybe you can't reach this guy to disarm him. Uh, oh well. Uh, we can move this guy out a little, can't we? Mm. Uh, but he will trigger an opportunity attack. Do we know that for a certain? I mean, that's what happened last time. Oh, curious. Uh, what's what do you do with mind fire? Ranged attack that damages a single target. Mind fire distracts the target, turning them away from rebound to ensure the strike deals backstab damage. Okay, so it guarantees gets a backstab. 
teleport spin. That causes disarm. Can't get any good teleport spins on them. And this was disarms all enemies in range. So that she could have disarmed that guy. We probably did that wrong. Um, probably teleport her here, maybe. Then, like, uh, she has her ultimate charged as well. Oh. A realized. series of powerful ranged attacks that damage multiple random targets in an area. Oh, that sounds ideal for this. Five attacks, two damage per attack. Okay. No, I just, uh, it has range. to be within her range. Oh, but that works. Yeah, that hits all of them. And then we, we just try and finish off whatever's left. Mm. Everyone's at one health. That's rather brutal. Okay. And she's still got two actions left, so. Mm. So her actions, they're all ranged attacks, aren't they? She can do. Yeah. So, let's. Does, does she want to teleport spin the first one so that she can then range attack the other and then use her normal movement to get out? I don't think it matters. Mm, probably not, but. Um, she could she could teleport here, attack one by flinging something at, at, at them, like this guy with the gun, for instance. Then teleports, or, or, or fling it over here at this guy with the gun. Then teleport spin behind him to do damage, or over here to do damage. Mm. Maybe going over here, then it gets them further away. So we could use the teleport spin, spin to get out. Um, let's let's do it that way. Okay. So goes here. Takes this guy out for one. Oh, that was a bit brutal. Not not always into disarming them and the friendly fire kind of stuff, are they? Um, oh, oh, here. Oh. Oh, oh. Stop moving the camera. Okay, I'm <laughs> trying to make sure I'm in the right place. Um, he only has one damaging move, so I guess he needs to take out the one that's furthest forward. He can disarm, though. Oh, the other guy's not got a There's gun. There's no has weapons, he? yeah. Um, so I, his thing is he gets extra damage from facet, or I guess Rebound could teleport him somewhere um, for an action. But it's not even worth vulnerabling. <laughs> And then, uh, maybe vul vulnerabling the next guy. I mean, you could, but if you end your turn, it still does. Oh, it doesn't really ma matter because you're only trying to get you in the ultimate charge. What do you mean? Because you, you've left an action open, and it won't make a difference because uh, we still do one damage to that guy no matter what before. Okay. Yeah. Well, you just float over here. Whee! And. Um, Pass your turn. So we've not used his ultimate yet. Do we assume that there are no more enemies coming? Like no more rounds? Uh, and use his ultimate? If you would like to. I'm I'm game for seeing what it does. Yeah, let's find out that. Shard lockdown. Creates a growth on all enemies in range, mobilizing them. Oh. It doesn't actually do damage. Fine. So <laughs> just uh, We'll just do yeah. That's not a bad one, but it's not a great one. Okay. We did some optional objectives and got some did. optional uh, SP. Yeah, got currency S or something. Got SP and XP. Fight in the head. We got no XP on 
Oh no, it did. We did. It just counted up. Okay. Mm. Uh, should we lock Mindfire? Mindfire has managed to live a life below the radar of the company, using his telekinetic powers to hide his presence. That part of his life is now over. His biggest concern is that the company will hurt his family now that he's no longer there to protect them. Mindfire is a heavy hitter, and his ultimate is charged every time an enemy he has made vulnerable is damaged. Okay. Oh, it's not told us that about the other guys. No. Interesting. Mm. I guess we just assume to know. Um, so this is our, like, cool little bat cave place. Awesome. Well, there are some more missions we might carry on playing, but I think that's a good place to stop for our first go at this. Yeah. This uh, was Capes. It is... Um, currently available as a demo on Steam, but there is plans for the full Steam release in 2023. It's a new game from Spitfire Interactive. Very excited to see what this game looks like in the end and um, what else comes out from this studio. What were, your, what were your thoughts? I really liked, I, I really liked it for a few reasons, just from uh, the skills being so open and so varied it does make you feel quite powerful which is always good with superhero kind of games i think i also like the fact that and i don't know if anyone else felt this but i feel like the graphics in this remind me a lot of action figures they are like action figures, <laughs> they are, they? which i really yeah. i quite like as like a superhero sort of they, aesthetic they look a little plasticky and a little mm. uncanny i quite like the cutscenes looking a lot like old comic books that's true e even the way the way the camera was framed is was very much like old comic books some of the character models are a little goofy looking. Maybe it's because they meant to look like action figures. Maybe that's right. I did think they, they looked a bit a bit uh, unusual. But yeah, action figures. I like that. I like the idea that this is someone playing with their action figures and making this kind of this X Men story. Yeah. What a great idea. Okay, terrific. Well, we'll catch you all later. Bye. Bye. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb.